excited about actually making the music with some of the original cast members. I grew up listening to the score and this is just going to be a dream come true for me. Some of the benefits of performing outdoors is the acoustical challenge and being able to hear yourself. The great thing is that the family can come out and everybody can be a part in this great space, Summer Stage. New York audiences create a very special uh, experience for the performer because they're so well versed in musical styles and genres. The process of putting the show together is very long. Of course, you go from casting, and then you go from getting ideas to how it will be staged, then you go to putting the music together, then you go to actually putting the dancers along with the singers, uh, the principals, the background singers, the orchestra, and even down to costuming. It all is a big process which comes together. So tonight is going to be an explosive event. Get the arts to the people, and I think that's the most important part. Cultivating an audience is what uh, summer entertainment, especially summer entertainment in the parks, do. They bring some of the best entertainment in New York City and its people together. You can go from park to park, and there's always something going on. iconic Superman, Mr. George Faison, and, and I'm Danny G. Yay! <laughs> and we are in the very iconic firehouse, the yes. Faison Firehouse. Faison Firehouse. 124 and St. Nicholas. Yes. Avenue. So I asked George to speak to me today because five years ago on this day, we presented the Wiz in Central Park for the Summer Stage Festival. And at that point, it was the 40th anniversary of the fabulous, iconic Broadway show that meant so much to so many people back in those days. And still does, because that show in Central Park was packed, packed, beyond packed. 
And now here we are, five years later, and it is now the 45th anniversary of the show. So we're going to talk a little bit about that and then so much more. So thank you, George, for welcoming Absolutely. me into your abode. And yes. can we talk about the Wiz for just a brief moment before we talk about everything else? Because I have a couple of questions. I was digging through my notes, and it premiered on Broadway January 75. 1975. Yeah. So tell us about that opening night. Tell us what that was like. Nerve wracking. Oh. You know, why? Um, only because, you know, it's very different. Here was music that had a strong, definite backbeat. <laughs> so the rhythm was there. Mm -hmm. Jeffrey had done a smashing job of the costumes. Mm -hmm. Tom, John did the sets. Theon, uh, uh, what's her name? I can't think of the lighting designer. Mm -hmm. um, uh, did magic mm -hmm. with the lights, and we just had, and the dancers, the mm -hmm. dancers. I know on on that night that I received the Tony. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I know I didn't thank the dancers mm. enough. They're the backbone mm -hmm. of the theatrical nation. Yes. <laughs> they will put on a show when yes. you have no show. That's right, that's right. And then some of the music, I mean, I knew about Timothy Grafton Reed and Charlie, Charlie Small, of course, but Luther mm -hmm. Vandross. Luther Vandross did oh. Brand New Day. Oh. He contributed Brand New Day. And Timothy and I contributed the Emerald City. Mm -hmm. That's why we are uh, mm -hmm. still collecting right. royalties. Oh, you get our kids. You gotta, you gotta cover all bases. <laughs> Strapping kid, I'm a George face on. <laughs> so, so take me way, way back. Were you at the conception of the show? Of, of the show. Well, the, well, those, those, um, the staffs that the Yellow Brick Road mm -hmm. carry are from Gazelle. Oh. Yes. Okay. So I had, I have, I have uh, history with them. Yes, you do. So everything and the kitchen sink, right. so to speak. Right. Um, but it, uh, it does pay to study all forms mm -hmm. of dance. Mm -hmm. You don't, you never know when you're gonna have to pull something out. That's right. That's you know, right. Right. Your vaudeville pass, mm -hmm. or you know, or <laughs> your, your shape dancing right. moves. <laughs> that and track, don't forget. Yeah. Right. Those time do. Don't please don't. One after the That's other. That's right. Plea A after plea A. I don't care. You're not going to get away with it. No, no. Because you'll be a fat passing fad. Right. And that's, somebody was saying to me, I think it was Diane McIntyre. Mm -hmm. And I was I was on the phone. I was, we were texting back and forth. And she said she was going to call today. Mm -hmm. But um, we were, you know, talking about um, Chloe Davis. Yes. Had, uh, who dances with. Camille. Camille. Yes. And um, Camille uh, texted me about, uh, you know, one of her company members mm -hmm. uh, having done this mm -hmm. project out at the university, mm -hmm. which, it, which they gave tribute, for a fine tribute yes. to uh, the um, black choreographers mm -hmm. of uh, the era. Yes. Catherine Dunham, yes. yourself, yes. Tally Beattie. Debbie right. Allen even yes, is in there. Absolutely, it's absolutely. a wonderful tribute. Right, wonderful uh, tribute mm -hmm. to um, the thing, and that's and maybe that's what's kind of sad about what they're doing now. Mm. You know, I'd like to know some of their dreams, right. really outside of that. You know, mm -hmm. like they're in the academia trying to get that degree mm -hmm. in dance, but sometimes it's the spirit mm -hmm. that you. Are after mm -hmm. you know what I mean mm -hmm. more than anything after mm -hmm. those long grueling hours mm -hmm. of of class and and so forth right. you have to at some time yeah. at some point insert yourself mm -hmm. and that's and uh, I didn't find that hard right <laughs> well in my little research I did read that you wanted to potentially be a dentist is that true that was in DC that yeah. was in DC right at Howard University right yes. Right. So, because my mother was a dental assistant, mm. you know, also being a charwoman on the side mm. and, and doing all of the things to so for raise the, us for the five kids. kids. What's a, can you please explain what a charwoman is, George? She's please. a cleaning woman. Yeah. Cleaning mm -hmm. lady. Yeah. You don't see, a lot of them are Hispanic these mm -hmm. days, mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of the daughters are, you know, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we want to really talk yeah. yeah. So, we, you know, we, um, you know, survival right. and so forth. And they were 
encouraging. I started in DC mm -hmm. at the American Light Opera Company. Exactly. With uh, uh, Rusty Thacker and uh, Georgia Engel. Mm. So it was, you know, Georgia was still yes. the same ditz that she was <laughs> then. But I did a lot of shows. I did Pajama Game. Mm -hmm. I did uh, Kiss Me Kate, oh, which wow. I was the lead dancer in that. And that was my introduction, actually, to Howard University. I was wow. like 15. I saw my, uh, I saw a, a Jesse Norman there mm -hmm. for the first time, like 15-year-old Jesse Norman. Wow. Right, and I'm sitting in the audience. We had never heard a voice like that in our lives. She was 15. She was 15. And she was there on the stage. And, and we they said, okay, we have this young student, and she's going to come, and she's going to sing oh to us. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Oh, we were blown away yeah. is not even the word. Transfixed right. is more mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. it was once we got over the initial shock right. of what that voice was. Mm. So then, you know, and Jesse and I, you know, I left, I left Howard. Jesse um, um, graduated mm -hmm. under, um, oh God, I can't age. <laughs> it's okay. But, <laughs> but no, it was, but, at, was it while you were at Howard? Yes. Or you no, no, I was in high school. Oh, okay. Okay. And I, well, I actually started a dancing with the dance department mm -hmm. yeah, at Howard mm -hmm. with uh, Carolyn Tate, mm -hmm. who danced with Donnie McHale, oh. and, um, and Mary Rose Allen, yeah. who headed the, the um, what is that, the physical education mm -hmm. department. Mm -hmm. that, that was part of this. Mm -hmm. So we danced around, and then along came, um, I think Essence did an article on it mm. way back. Mm -hmm. And I went over and I went over to my friend's house and he collected these photographs and he said, I want you to see this. Mm -hmm. And I saw a picture of Breath Revelation. And I was like, who is that? Oh. And he took me. And we found out that Alvin was coming to Crafton Auditorium. Just like that. Oh my God. I saw think? Miguel Gardro. Oh. Takako Asaka. Oh, come on. Morton Winston. Morton Winston. The greatest yeah. modern, uh, modern dancer yeah. I had ever seen. Yeah. In what was his nickname? Bubba? Bubby? Well, he taught us at Philadanko, you know, uh, as one of our guest teachers. And so I got to meet him a little bit. But you're right. Yes. Morton I Winston. I mean, Morton Winston. And I ultimately would go on to replace him oh. in his roles in, oh. in the Ailey oh. Company. That so once once I saw them, I right. left. I left you school. I, no, this is what I want to do. Right. So Lewis Johnson, mm -hmm. who was choreographing in the in the um, mm -hmm. in the uh, Ira Aldridge, which was which was built all at the same time, mm -hmm. and he was doing a production of Jamaica. Okay. And that's how I met Lewis, mm -hmm. and he was a powerhouse I had not mm -hmm. even seen as well, mm -hmm. and he could do everything. Mm -hmm. And he would show you how to do <laughs> Yes, he would. Okay, son. Can fella, I talk to you, son? Fella. Come on, fella. Move, fella. Oh, my gosh. Right. If you were not doing the moves correctly, he would jump up from his chair, hop across the room, and do a backflip, and a cartwheel, cartwheel. And a split. And oh, no, not until after he did four or five pirouettes. <laughs> A run here, right? Run yes. the same. Come on. You yes. know, uh, and so forth, and down into a yes. twist. Yes, oh, yes. Lewis was incredible. And he passed away not too long ago. True. At the age of 90. 90. Right. Cold so, Jubilee. Jubilee. Jubilee so, you saw Alvin Ailey, you joined the company. Did you have, did you have to audition? Of course. What was that? But, like? no, but when I first went to New York, mm -hmm. I auditioned for. The Arthur Mitchell dance company that was going to Senegal. Huh. Right. And that had in its cast Claude Thompson, mm. Paula Kelly, huh. uh, um, Reynolds, Pearl Reynolds. Oh, wow. And we did Reek Dessage, Phoebe Snow. I had not seen dance. I saw it on the stage. I didn't know how, what a mm. ball breaker that was going to be. <laughs> right. Trying to. To do that. So and this predated Dancer of Harlem. No, yes. Okay. It was to be. And 
is two of the uh, Balanchine's baby ballerines, uh, Yarborough, and there was another black girl that can't remember. Mm -hmm. uh, they were both mm -hmm. uh, in, you know, apprenticing mm -hmm. in New York City ballet. Oh, way yes. back then. Way back then. Okay. Uh, this was like 64, 65. Right. Yeah. And uh, the greatest man, Tommy Johnson. Uh, I can't tell you all of the people that that walked in that room and they were doing the classic Dunham, Dunham mm. moves. And Dunham still had a company down on 42nd Street. Mm -hmm. And I was able to be part of her farewell mm. at Town Hall mm -hmm. when she did her, fa uh, her farewell mm -hmm. to New York and was moving to um, St. Louis, mm -hmm. back to St. Louis. Right. And uh, just so many people. But there were so many opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, I met Law Lubavitch mm -hmm. at, uh, oh God, his brain. That's right. Uh, uh, what is the other de denim dancer? She had her own company there on 40 something street. I can't remember her mm. name. Seth Sevilla Ford. Oh, Sevilla. That's right. So I had made the rounds. I danced at, yeah. with. Uh, with uh, Jack Cole over oh. at uh, over at the Harkness House, mm -hmm. and along with a couple other illustrious teachers. Yeah, this is all do. before you joined AOP. Yes. So you were you I were seasoned. You were prepared. No, Thelma Phil. coached okay. us. Ah, oh, right. I, I, oh, I didn't tell you I joined in the meantime, waiting <laughs> for Al. When I came to New York mm -hmm. and in in search of Alvin Ailey, I found out that he replaced us. Mm. at the Festival of Two Worlds in Senegal. Mm. And so I was then out of a job. I could not go back to D.C. and wasn't going back to D.C. Why do you say that? Go back? Mm. No, hell no. <laughs> hell no, no okay? There was no going no, back. No, no, there was no going back, okay? You're not going back. I mean, Corona is doing us in, but listen, uh, there was no going back. Okay. There was only... Forward movement. That's right. So, um, in the meantime, I did all sorts of jobs. I mm -hmm. danced with um, Norma Miller out on Queens Boulevard mm -hmm. with the jazz men, and they were all famous too. Mm -hmm. Jazz mm -hmm. tap dances. And I just did the modern, you know, the, right. the boogaloo and the, and all of those right. shake a booty, this, that, and the other, <laughs> right. as being the youngest one. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think Fred Benjamin replaced me with her. With replaced me with wow. her as I was moving on to yes. to all of these other things. And uh, we have to keep these names in rotation. I got right, we do. You do. Because it, it's just like the film you were just in, Uprooted, and we talked about that's still that's making the festival circuit online. I haven't it talks seen about it. I <laughs> uprooted. But it talks about all of these Well, I dance with all of them. All of Damn them. near all of them. And then I got a TV show, mm. ABC Stage 67. This is still before Ailey. This is still before Ailey. Right. Right. ABC Stage 67. It was called Stage 67 only because yeah. they were leading into that. Mm -hmm. um, and I danced uh, to between takes. I went up to Miss McCall and said, could we take a picture? Laura McCall? Yeah, you can get the picture. Oh, wow. And you could. Yeah. You could do B-roll on yeah. that. <laughs> but anyway, and it went, and the Associated Press picked it up. The Everybody picked it up. The Jet Magazine, Jet. which was the top for me. Come on, Okay, Jet. in case y'all don't know, we had our own magazine before Essence. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, Essence was in a long line. They were inspired. Okay, but anyway, okay. Essence and Ebony were, uh, and the... Afro-American newspaper. Yes, come on. Okay, read, 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 read. Yes. Okay, that's what, and that's what we do. Anything that you wanted to know about that was happening in the black community yes. and so forth um, was in that. Right. And we made the jet. Jet. Well, you oh. could hang it up. I that's was walking it. on air. <laughs> How can I go back to D.C.? <laughs> you were a jet. <laughs> yes. Okay. Wow, no. and still all before Ailey. Wow. And then we were training, trained, and we did uh, 
ballets by Lewis, mm. no, uh, no uh, View from the Ghetto, mm. which we did. That was my first Delacorte mm -hmm. performance. Mm -hmm. In Central Park. In Delacorte. Central Park, Delacorte. And that was Joe Pepp. That was probably the greatest thing because we were on a program with ABT. We were on with Anna Sokolov. We were on with, um, right. uh, you know, all, all of the people, all mm. of the wonderful people. So eclectic, so diverse, you know, before diversity was even thought of. Right. Is it that a was. word? It just was. It was. It, was. Just it was. was. And Joe Papp was the... He was genius. He was. He was. He, he was, he was, was there a name to that festival, uh, to that evening? Delacour. I don't know. To come to Lava Law was right. on that program. She oh, did. Man. Glenn Tetley did. Mm. The, that's where I first saw uh, Billy. Mm. It's Billy Holiday mm -hmm. with uh, with Common, and you know I was mystified. I had seen her mm -hmm. when I was studying at um, Jones and Haywood ah, back in my DC yes. days. Mm -hmm. um, so know, that was the ballet school. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, it was you know just it's incredible. Time. You know, all just stay hungry. Any mm -hmm. just stay hungry. It's, and, and, and forget about it being about you. Just swallow up everything, everything. that you can. Everything. Mm -hmm. And it was and it was that that uh, you know fed that insatiable hunger that I had for the arts mm -hmm. and for the escape. You know, we all you know, that was ghetto. I grew mm -hmm. up in the ghetto. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They uh, um, you know, we we um, lived on third street but i had to travel all the way to to uh georgetown to across wisconsin avenue all the way where uh, ellington duke ellington mm -hmm. high school is now yes. located mm -hmm. founded by right. uh, mike malone mm -hmm. and uh, peggy peggy <laughs> i know peggy caper Coop. <laughs> okay. Right. Yes. And they and they built that school. And they built that school. That school. Look at all these kids that have come out of And there. all of those kids, they did Washington a big service, and mm -hmm. there was some place to go, and they've inspired so many, mm -hmm. so many kids. And uh, not to digress, but to when I went to Howard, mm -hmm. I saw you know uh, Medea in Africa and, mm -hmm. and things like that, and I danced in Jamaica. And that had just been out in right. 1957 or right. something, so forth. And that was an experience. So your first performing life started really with theatrical shows, musical yes. theater, yes. prior to concert dance. Yes. Okay. So are we at Alien yet now? Are no. We at, are we at, <laughs> no, but it was, I, you know, I was still with the, the TV just, show, the TV show and, and so forth. And we could freelance. We lived down on Dan Delancey Street, Hell's Kitchen. Over on 51st and 1st and 10th Avenue. Right. We were living, uh, roommate, he had roommates and things like that, Jason Taylor and mm. all, of, you know. But everyone was creating, it was swirling. Just, New York was hot. Right. I mean, but we, are, we weren't on the main stage mm. yet. Yet. Oh, yeah, that was to come. <laughs> okay, well, we were going to bust it wide open. Right, okay, right. Well, anyway. Yes. You're no good. <laughs> But anyway, uh, let me see. So, yeah. Alvin came back mm -hmm. to New York, mm -hmm. and he was having auditions for people who were big. Mm. Thelma had, you know, worn us out mm -hmm. with, uh, you know, her coaching mm -hmm. and so forth, and giving us an idea of the. The energy and how to approach, you know, Alvin Ailey right. and what this was, mm -hmm. and uh, trying to exact everything in in that uh, mm -hmm. in that repertoire. Mm -hmm. You know, the Horton, you know, mm -hmm. with those elbows straight and mm -hmm. doing the tick 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 tick. The beat yeah. were going, you know what I mean, and doing those turns as fast as you could, PK turns, the pirouettes, everything. Right. You know, you got. You know the the full measure mm -hmm. of what you were, were supposed to get. I mean, they didn't mm -hmm. play the teacher. No. You come out of there sweating. And, you know, they didn't <laughs> know anything. Right, <laughs> exhausted. Exhausted. No, but you you would take. Yeah. Um, uh, 
a three and four class oh, sure. a day. Yeah. You know, so while I was cleaning Claude Thompson, who is a well-known choreographer, mm -hmm. was a well-known choreographer at that time, um, and I cleaned his apartment for five dollars. Oh, this was extra money. Yes. <laughs> okay. And a scholarship. Oh, right. To go to. It was work study. <laughs> No, and then the folklore, and then I got, yes. I got to go to the party where that Arthur had up at Cindy's mm. house one time. And this, here yeah. was Diane Carroll, everybody, oh. Josephine Vermees, everybody in, oh, and, on his seven, at his 77th Street yes. apartment. Mm -hmm. and, it, and, and to be with, you know, grown up. Tell me about Josephine Vermees. I just read her daughter's book, Susan Fails Hill. Yeah, Joy. What is that? Joy. Oh, always have joy or something, yes. something but yes. really just... She was such a lady, oh. and I had done before I did Albert and yeah. a show at the Manhattan Theater, Theater Club that was located on East 74th Street wow. on the set of Hogan's Ghost oh. that was starring <laughs> Faye Dunaway. Oh, no. Yes. Jeez. So they... they they transformed the theater. Right. Josephine put on her dress, and we did. Yes. There she sat with the Gorgeous. evening, singing everything, French everything. Right, because that's what everyone did back then. You do everything. Everything. You, you can sing. So you could sing. You Real could do triple threats. Right, right. It was just an incredible time, and you mm -hmm. got a little, you got paid. Yeah. You know, but rent was maybe fifty dollars mm -hmm. a month. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Okay. <laughs> That's and, the metro card right. these days. Right. <laughs> you can't even. What is happening? And right. that was that was like. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to use this tape. Yeah, of When I write that book. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Yeah. Reference it. But anyway, I can't tell you yeah. the roller coaster ride that mm -hmm. you had, and something would be happening every every um, every, every week. Night. You could you had something to look mm -hmm. forward to mm -hmm. all the time. And these and, are your peers. Yes. So there's competition, but it's fun because you're like, you're. I'm telling you. Right. I'm standing here. There's a lot of little bit doing the envelope with me. Killing it. Killing it. There right. we were. La lot of bit. Okay. Okay. He knows it. Ask you know, him. I will. <laughs> I okay. Lar. Right. Right. So it was diverse yeah. from the beginning. So Delma is getting you guys ready to to potentially join the Alba Alien American Dance Theater at this point now. Right. He's talking you up. Got now, who was in the company at this point? Judith. Mm. Uh, Sharon Miller mm. got into the company at that time. Consuela Atlas. Oh, um, gorgeous. Jimmy Truitt. Mm -hmm. um, now, had you known Judy before? No. Okay. Not until you joined the Alien. Like right. you could have seen her. You had heard of her? <laughs> right. She thought I was tubby. Oh, Tubby, right. that's his nickname, Martin right. Tubby Winston. Oh, that's you see how it came out? <laughs> you see how it came out? You see how it came out? I said, we're, we're she's going to go on off screen, by the way. <laughs> she said, we, you we got, me? I know she wasn't ready for all the change that was about to happen, and especially me. Yeah, right. So we were just doing Blue Sweet mm. at one time. She took her show, and if I wasn't quick enough uh, to duck, oh, I would have lost my head. Oh, 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 my I quietly walked over to her. I said, we're not happy to get that. I am not Morton Winston. Oh, right. So. Yeah. And then we got to be friendly. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. She was always a diva. Yes. <laughs> with her gold Dunhill lighter and her regalness. Yes. Her yeah. highness. Yeah. Yeah. She Blue she grew sweet. Blue Sweet. What the opening it? section. Oh, that was. I, see, this is what I love. See, so here I am, whatever, one generation removed. I would say one, right? Because it was. But having dance Blue Sweet as well, that opening section is everything. It is. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Grimy and down. Grimy and, and down and, and everything. And then you see. Judy, six feet tall, walking on there, it's like... And he, with her heels, six, like, two. six two. <laughs> okay. And Kelvin Rotardi, oh. and he and, he and, didn't he and Judy do it? Michelle Murray was in the company at that time. Mm -hmm. Renee Rose. Now, was uh, 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 No, 
Lynn uh, uh, Taylor Corbett. Lynn Taylor Corbett? She was in the company in oh, the day. Wow. I have pictures of her. Yes. Yes. That album was always integrated. I love it. See, exactly. See, so this is nothing new. Okay. Because of his humanity, mm -hmm. he wore it on his sleeve. This that. was a genius. That. He spoke of the language you could sit down and just talk, listen to and talk, mm -hmm. you know, for hours. A voracious reader. Yes, and, you know, but frustrated by the fact that he couldn't get enough money. Right. And now, mm -hmm. you know, his name is heralded all over yeah. the world. Mm -hmm. You know, but we were 12 dancing. Wow. Right, it doesn't take 36. <laughs> okay. 12. It takes. Yeah. Crossing the country, in the world. <laughs> it, it takes 12 good ones. Okay, well. Yeah. Okay, Robert. You got to look at that oh. bucket list. You don't need 36. Yeah. And a day off is out of the question. You can work on that stretch yes. and that turnout. Those dances will give it to him. They will give it to him. So you're in the company now. Yes. And you were Judy, you were Dudley. And we were Dudley going. Dudley here at this point, though? Dudley was there. Oh, everybody oh, yeah. was there. That's right. 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 Jimmy Truitt. Jimmy Truitt. His right hand. <coughs> helping out with the business stuff I'm reading about. And Mickey. Was Mickey still there? Mickey. She um, she just helped Alvin drive around the costumes and things. I was Mickey reading. was always there. Okay. Um, oh, what is her name? Ivy Clark. Ivy Clark. Um, was kind of the company man right. and so forth. We also had Bill Hammond. Bill Hammond. He was there for a long time. For a long time. And uh, Nick Trinovich was a lighting mm. designer. Brilliant. Mm. Oh, Trinovich. yes. Night Creature. That was just his lights, right? Those were his lights. I, th I think yeah. so. But, I mean, he did blue, blue, sweet, yes. baby snow. Yes. I never saw a light blink like that yeah. before and, and carry on. So mm. it's like he created it when like, we didn't have blinking lights. Yes. Yeah. And so forth. It, it was... It was the beginning. Right. I'm telling you. Right. And we were going to Africa. Mm. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. That was that was in I think '66. Mm -hmm. So this is with the company. That was the revelations. That's where right. I first saw the gazelle. Uh, That's where right. I got that idea. Oh, right. The whole thing mm -hmm. about you know mm -hmm. freedom being represented by. Mm -hmm. The, the, the gazelle, mm -hmm. and I chose that as the prologue to slaves, mm -hmm. and and then that whole middle passage, mm -hmm. you know, um, you know, I learned, you know, from history and books sure. and stuff like that. But I was able to mm -hmm. make that ballet, mm -hmm. you know, from that, mm -hmm. and then you know, understanding and listening to Mary Makiba and mm -hmm. Leto Mbulu, and uh, and then then uh, even uh, children of what. Right on we Oh, all the Jubilee it. singers. The line, yes. the, the song would come out, everybody. <laughs> you know, but that's what we did. Yes. The song would come over the radio. Yes. Everybody was dancing yes. to it. And yes. those dances that survived, <laughs> survived. Well, I don't be free. Really, right, right. And that is yes. cry. Yes. So you're so it was just this big, huge, wealthy vibe. We, yes. we did that. We, we went across the country four or five times, mm -hmm. which was wonderful seeing mm -hmm. America, mm -hmm. got put out of restaurants, oh. got uh, denied service, and all of that, all right. in the same time. Right, as you're performing. Right. In front of these same folks, probably buying right. tickets. You can't sit next to them in the restaurant. Right. Ugh. Mm. So. So you're in the company a few years. Right. And then you exit. I was in, I was in the company all that time. Mm -hmm. um, but you're choreographing, right? I'm choreographing. This don't bother me. I can't go. Right. Right. Yes. So that was my first. Yeah. And uh, but was that after I had established my company? I took. I went over to the uh, Manhattan Theater Club mm -hmm. and I did Poppy, mm -hmm. Gazelle, mm -hmm. and something else. I hadn't created Sweet Oats. Mm -hmm. I created Sweet Otis in two weeks. Oh, oh wow. At, and, and then did it. Yeah. At, uh, where did we go? We went somewhere. And I did it mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then we start touring. Mm -hmm. and, and toured and toured and toured. Mm -hmm. Until we were doing um, Sweet Otis at 
Delacourt mm -hmm. with Debbie Allen, mm -hmm. Gary Delone. Now this is with your company. With my company. So Sweet Otis was on your company yes, first. Yes, first. Okay, so this and is Gazelle the is Universal, the George Faison. And Loretta Universal Abbott. Is no. Experience. Right, experience. Okay. Hope Clark was my, was uh, a, a uh, one of the gazelles I worked out. Because mm -hmm. uh, uh, was one of the, gazelle, my first gazelle. Mm -hmm. Loretta Abbott mm -hmm. was the girl. Gazelle. Mm -hmm. But by the time we got to Delaco, Letty Battle was the gazelle. Okay. She came on the stage, <laughs> the audience gasped. What did she look like? I don't know. What's Thin, going to be. Yeah. tall, mm -hmm. short afro, mm -hmm. and just body. Body. Mm -hmm. Body. Mm -hmm. They went nuts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, I found them coming up the street. <laughs> um, her and Hinton. Oh, before, Hinton Battle? Yeah. Oh, wow. Before, um, I just saw these two walking up the street. They, I said, they extraordinary at 85th and Broadway. Wow. And I lived at 85th and Broadway. Oh, okay. So I'm seeing these two creatures mm -hmm. walk up the street and they were talking. And so I said, hey, what are you two doing? <laughs> hey, you. Hey, you. What are you two see, doing? Yeah. What are you two doing? Yeah. I said, we're dancers and so forth. I said, okay, mm -hmm. I need you. And you haven't changed? You still do that. Hey, come in here. <laughs> Let me try something out on you. <laughs> right. And, right. So I've been blessed with having some of the most yes. extraordinary. Christina Kimball was another gazelle. Mm -hmm. Debbie Allen was a gazelle. Debbie Allen. And, uh, and then Otis, and, and she would always, always be running around there. Competition ski, competition ski. To the consternation of the oh other. My. Oh, that Debbie Allen. Oh, that she Debbie had an afro at, I met them in Conn College. Oh. When uh, Alvin was at Conn College mm -hmm. and he choreographed uh, McKee, uh, Masakila Langage. Oh. Oh, that was the last. The, uh, the, Did you the, taste I, that? the Steve Binkle part. I call it the right. scene. The, the woman Come, that comes back yes. fighting yes. bloody. Yes, bloody. That's, That's right. I created that. Oh, I Alvin, love that ballet. I know, but Alvin had the perfect ending. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. He may have to just got the B cup. So they picked up, picked me up at the end, mm -hmm. and we're walking toward the audience. And Alvin and Pinky said, Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Oh. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. That was much. the ending. The oh, they changed it for sure. Yeah. yeah. It was already lazy. dark. Right. You <laughs> may as well have gone yeah. to midnight. So now he just lays on the floor and we just walk over him like another day, another another killing. No, but that was Steve Binko was the first yeah. that we heard of. Right. I mean, how was that now? Even when I and then I'm, that's when I met yeah. Hugh Masekela, mm -hmm. who oddly enough I was collaborating with on his life right. here at the firehouse oh. prior to his dying. And oh. all of them died oh. at the same time, T, oh. him, and, and my cousin, and somebody mm -hmm. else, God, mm -hmm. passed away mm -hmm. all at that same time. So it was just like yeah. really rough right. around here. Yeah. So I'm coming out of it, though. Yes, you are, and here we are. Right. Right. Yes, we are. So, so yeah. So uh, that the Wiz opened to all. So of did that. you still have your company when the Wiz started? Yes, at the beginning. Oh, okay. Right. No, and then when I went, to, to, then when I went to California, I asked them all that wanted to join, come on with me. That's what I was going to ask. Yes. Yeah. And mm -hmm. and uh, uh, quite a few of them came. Exactly. Oh, Morel, uh, uh, Ramel. Uh, oh, Ramel, Ramel, yes. He was in the dance. He was okay. in my company. Ramel Romain. Ro. Ro. R-E-A-U-X. Right. That's right. Right, 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 right. And he uh, he was in the company. Of, I don't know. Ramel Ro. Claudia, Louis Lampel, mm -hmm. uh, Karen McDonald. Mm -hmm. um, oh, God. So, crazy story. I ended up in school with Ramel's grandnephew or nephew. In, in, in elementary school with him. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. Ramel's from Philly. Yes, South absolutely. Philadelphia. Oh, anybody from Philly is, let me tell you, I'm from Philly. Southwest Philly, Philly there's a difference. There's, oh, <laughs> we know you're going to put us 
different story. <laughs> Well, when I saw his name, and we started talking, and we just like, I'm from Philly. He was like, what part of Philly? And I said, Southwest Philly. And that's when he was like, my nephew. I'm, so anyway, small world, family, here we are. Yeah. So you're with the Wiz, winning Tonys and things. Eight Tonys, seven Tonys. Seven Tonys, best musical, best direction of a musical, yeah. choreography. Uh, Dee Dee Bridgewater. Dee Dee Bridgewater. Um, everybody should have gotten. Yeah. Everything. Now, was Stephanie with the original cast? Absolutely. Absolutely right. And, I and nobody can sing that song like that. Uh, Anaya Day is lovely. She is it's, it's lovely. Yeah. But Stephanie sang, you know. Yeah. And uh, she was oh, a baby. She was, she what, was 16, 15. 15. Right. Right. And I remember you telling us stories about how just it was overwhelming for her. You know, the night after night, just going to the theater and just pressure. You but know, that you heard that song every night. Okay. <laughs> you heard home every night. You didn't hold back on that. No, right. Right. So that's incredible. And right. then the, the night of the Tony, just, you know, we all see the video. If you haven't, you can YouTube it. George winning the Tony, the announcement, and running up on stage and dancing. Oh, my God. I still get chills watching it. Right. And I'd like to thank all of the dancers <laughs> again. Yes. Again, I'm repenting. But not, you know... Uh, saying each and everyone's name mm -hmm. at that particular time. But I was overwhelmed too because I was first. the first up. First. That's right. You know, yeah. even at the, the, the ceremony. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yes. <laughs> damn near. Um, but it was just, so when they said uh, your name, when they called your name, you're sitting, who is, okay, wait, take us back to the night. I need to, I need to see the night. Who was at your table? Were you at tables or were you at chairs? Right. T. Schnook was at the right. table. Ruth Dubonet was at the table. We've been a long friend. She was a supporter of Alvin A. Mm -hmm. Dubonet wine, that is. Okay. Okay. Um, and I had met her and, and we got along really well. Yeah. So we go over there sometime for tea and, mm -hmm. and uh, well, maybe, but mainly for drinks. <laughs> and they made some of these wonderful, you know, mm -hmm. with these uh, filet dough. With the cheese melting mm. and all the unfolding. Have vodkas and yes. stuff like that. Yeah. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> exactly. In her living room yes. on 61st Street. Mm -hmm. So you win and you're up there. 63rd Street. Okay. So it was, did you, did you, when they called your name, like, did you hear it? Did you really hear it? Do you remember, like, what? I know. Me? So. The way that, I, George? Right. Right. And she touched me, bro. <laughs> it's the it's you, boo! Oh my God! And you ran up and there, all stole her up. the stage, and there it was. And then a famous still photo of you jumping with the with the Tony in your hand. What did you do after? You must have party hard. Oh, we party, 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 Down. party, party. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I call that my liberation day. Yes. I was free of all the beep. You know what I mean. Right. <laughs> right. right. So, and that gives you a certain amount of uh, uh, notoriety sure. and jobs mm -hmm. and so forth. Mm -hmm. Well, the Wiz, you know, at its most powerful, you know, land, ran, you know, on the road and all of that for 30 years. Right. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. if they wanted to show a sure hit, mm -hmm. they would, they would, they would do that. Mm -hmm. You know, we did it sometimes with Stephanie and Dar there are many Dorothys mm -hmm. that came down the uh, line. But, you know, I love the one that we did because we were able to bridge uh, generations. Oh, my gosh. Yes. It was. And that's what it's always about, right. bridging those generations. Because we don't say it's an apprenticeship right. and you always think you're in school, mm -hmm. that is your apprenticeship. Mm -hmm. And you should be trying to... Be, do the best you can at that particular mm -hmm. at that particular time. Mm -hmm. It's uh, imperative that you learn everything. Yes. Some of you are not going to become ballet dancers. Mm -hmm. It's you know, and I, I say that particularly because of the the enormous amount of discipline it ultimately takes. But even you're going to be a good modern dancer, or you're going to be a modern dancer in the in the vein of Martha Graham. I know everybody has their own technique or Horton or any of those things. It's it's imperative that you you master something. Mm -hmm. And then you can and then you can decompose. That's right. Not decompose, <laughs> deconstruct. <laughs> well, well that's that too. Be, 
<laughs> we're not supposed to be touching. Oh, that's right. Sorry, we're we're still in COVID, kids. But you know, that's true. Why well, touch the sleeve? Um, so uh, yeah, but the Central Park show. So what? we had already worked together, George and I, a few years prior. We were hanging out. I well, so I first met George. I was still dancing with Ailey. But when I first met George, he had just come back to reset Sweet Otis for that company. Generation. For that generation of us. So it was 95, 6. And I was already injured by that point. And George is coming back to set Sweet Otis. And I just could not physically do it. And I remember having to leave the rehearsal. And no one really told George why I had to leave. And I don't know what could have been going through the set to think, who, who is this thing trying to just walk up out of my rehearsal? But my... I didn't say that. No, 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 no. But I, that's what I'm, in my mind, I'm thinking, I hope oh. he doesn't think that. But my hip, unfortunately, at that point was injured. It was on fire. Um, so I never got to, I think I performed Sweet Otis one good time in that, during that season. And then I left at the beginning of 97. Um, however, fast forward to 2013, I'm working for Summer Stage and George Faison walks into the building where our offices are housed. So I'm in the building going to my office and we're housed in the Boys and Girls Harbor School where I think you were teaching or doing something, rehearsing. And we ran into each other at the elevator. And I said, Mr. Faison, hi. And so we started talking. And then anyway, long story short, we come together to do the Harlem Dance Caravan. And it was a melange oh. of companies that George and I put together. Right, and I did Harlem, what is that? Marcus Garvey Park. And, but I did, uh, what piece was that? That was a new piece. Oh, with, Niggas in Paris. Right. <laughs> with the Jay-Z song. Yeah. With, uh, was that Kanye? No, who was it? Kanye and Jay-Z. It was Kanye and Jay-Z, Jay -Z, right? And, and it was a, 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 a 1920s. Right, it was five. gorgeous. 1920s. 25. Throwback. Kalia was in it. Right. All the kids. All, all the kids. Right. It was amazing. And it blew, it was, blew everyone away. Right. right. So we did that, and then we did right. the next season with um, your your drummer friend from Nigeria who closed the show. Yeah, that was more of a mix of music and dance. That's who I met in Nigeria. That's right. And then the third year we were working together was 2015, and we were like, you said it's the anniversary of the Wiz, and I said, well, right, we should, we gotta do that, the Wiz. That was she was like, you know, genius. It's the 40th anniversary. Right. We got wow. And then we got Dee Dee Bridgewater. We got Felicia Rashad. Okay. We got uh, Lilius White. And I had oh. even thought Lilius sang Arrested Body. Lilius had never <laughs> sang Arrested Body. Didn't do that part. But I said, well, come on. You know, if you believe, you, you know yes. that song, right? Come on. Uh, the girl, uh, Dee Dee couldn't do it that night or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. That's right. Lilius put on that turban and got on the stage. <laughs> and killed 7,000 black folks and white folks and every kind of folk. We had turned, we had broke all records oh my for, gosh. for if, uh, attendance. So when it premiered at Central Park, with well, the first show for at Central Park, when I tell you the show was at eight o'clock, August 12th, which it is today, 2015, people were online starting at like noon or one o'clock, waiting for those gates to open. So they could get, when I tell you that park, which only holds really about 5,000, People were everywhere. It was super packed, standing ovations for damn near every song. I mean, it was just visual. It was incredible. It was yes. incredible. Live orchestra, Damien Sneed. Right. And Tim his Theory people. Graf, and yes. Oh, it was awesome. Zip singers and all of that. The and tornado. Right. <laughs> with Scalia Campbell. Yeah, right. Who is now dancing with Alvin Neely. Right. Gorgeous. And then we moved into Harlem. Yeah, you know, it was a little, it was a little trickier in Harlem. Don't have. You know, all the bells No, and we were the stepchildren again. You know you were. And we didn't have the lights. We didn't have the projections. All of the things that we really put in. Yeah. I know you've been wondering, what is George doing uh, up here at the firehouse? Well, I've been wor working on virtual space. Mm -hmm. and, and with the projections and, 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 and putting actors in those spaces and so forth. And that's what I been, had been doing um, for the last five years, and and that took more powerful projectors than I, 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 I um, uh, you know, could afford and so forth. But we did it. We did. Tim Schnook and I created this theater, uh, in which, and if you didn't see it, I'm I'm truly sorry that you didn't see it during that period when during the period when you could come here, mm -hmm. 
And uh, we in entertain the Harlem Opera Theater. Mm -hmm. We've done plays. We've done we've done uh, every everything. Mm -hmm. You know, baby naming uh, ceremonies. <laughs> you know, the Jamaicans that make it over. <laughs> you know, comedy nights and, mm -hmm. and just everything. And that's what it's really for. But mainly, you know, trying to find technicians mm -hmm. who could transfer all of that information to a younger generation of people who do not have the opportunity mm -hmm. to, um, uh, to do anything like that. And that, and that kind, kind of brings me to what, um, you know, I've been thinking you know, about, you know, ha after having the firehouse, because I want to, I want to go on vacation too, and not think about a lot of things. Yes. And you, you know, you have a lot of young people who don't think, didn't think at that particular time of, you know, taking over, you know, uh, artistic leadership, or taking on the responsibility of being, you know, learning something other than dance, if mm -hmm. you're costumers, lighted, lighting people, and, and so forth. Um, it, because that's an integral part of what makes a dance show. Mm -hmm. uh, because you, you, number one, you're going to do it without words in some cases. But, mm -hmm. but uh, it is, uh, it is. We've been waiting. What I'd like to do is congratulations, young people. Mm -hmm. Thank you for stepping up this year. Mm -hmm. Black lives do matter. Yes. And after borrowing so much from us, it's good to be recognized mm -hmm. for our contribution mm -hmm. to this great, great country we belong to and the great contribution that not just us who are sitting here right now um, have done, but what we have done over the decades, the years, the centuries of work. Now we join hands and bring all of that together, mm -hmm. all of the technology, all of the digital, no, digi digital mm -hmm. <laughs> know-how, all of that that we have to bear, mm -hmm. you know, and and you and you've grown up with this. So all of the wonderful things that we have at our fingertips, all of the things that have been created now, have to be innovated. You know, jobs, gates, everybody's created something. Now, what do we do with it? Mm -hmm. You had the phone in your hand. Mm -hmm. Now, what do we make this thing do? I bet you, you go across the street to the project, the grant houses over there. Those kids can make those phones do anything. Mm -hmm. They need the opportunity yes. to put their minds to something. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of time mm -hmm. and they can do it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like so, you know, I, after all of this time, I've, I've, um, I had never thought of it before, but um, philanthropy mm -hmm. is is a way. Mm -hmm. It's not how big or how small or anything, mm -hmm. but you know, if you have extra, you, you it is time for us to step up. Mm -hmm. You know, to have been so blessed, mm -hmm. you know, with this building mm -hmm. and with all that I've gotten, mm -hmm. you know, in my life. You know, I feel like that, and um, yeah. Yeah. giving back yeah. now, I know more you, than you joked about. You want to take your vacation, but yeah. what's, what's the next chapter? Yeah, right, as I say, you're still producing. You're yeah, still producing, dancing, and doing yeah. plays and and things like that. Because we, you know, we have morphed into other people. We're mm -hmm. more sophisticated. We know more. You've got better educations and everything. Mm -hmm. um, and it's time for you to be portrayed in other ways and step up to that. So I've been thinking about, you know, trying to, to start a foundation myself. I was actually inspired by Darren Walker mm -hmm. the other day with his article. For the Ford Foundation. Of the Ford mm -hmm. Foundation. And they, so I, you know, like I was thinking of, of uh, giving a, $25,000 scholarships, you know, to mm -hmm. a, uh, you know, to be announced when we, when, when, you know, we're ready and we, and when they make sense, you know, to a lot of these struggling choreographers and, 
and dances and organizations, mm -hmm. you know, that I can, you know, um, and, and, and when I can and while I can. Right. You know, and, and it's, it's time. That's wonderful. Yeah, I, you know. That's wonderful. That's, that's the keeping it going. That's the Just, generational. That's, that's what, the giving that's back. That's what ha happened. But, the pipeline. Right. The it, line. Is the, it is the pipeline. But you got to listen sometimes, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, uh, one thing we don't talk about is the finances. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You go through life and you have all of these seminars and you have all of these talks and things, mm -hmm. but we're never talking about the money. Mm -hmm. And we're not talking about, you know, just the money, about taking care of yourselves yeah. and getting your technique and all of the other things that you have to get, get done. But how do you produce this? Mm -hmm. How do you um, uh, go from one program to the next and how you, how you make it happen? Mm -hmm. You can't sit around and wait for a grant to come along. Right. You know, you do it any way you can. Mm -hmm. You put a few pennies aside, you make your own costumes, because that's what I did all of that time. And, uh, yes. right, and they still stand. I've been copied. <laughs> yes. right. right, Michael Bennett? <laughs> okay, that Cassie <laughs> dress, that Cassie dress is mine. That's from Sweet Elves. Don't you even try it. Yes. No. <laughs> Right, okay. Listen to your uncle Joe. <laughs> right, this is, I don't, I don't, okay, yeah, if you want. <laughs> but don't call me that no. if you don't know me. Okay. Well, right. <laughs> no, you can, you can. Because I'm here to give that kind of yeah. kind of advice. Because, because I, I, that's how I learned. And I got a, got a lot of good advice when people were still giving good advice. Mm. And still here while I can listen and hear that's it. That's right. And, um, and that's what you got to be. Mm -hmm. You got to be here to listen to it. Mm -hmm. And then understand and know that right. so that's uh that's, that's um what else no that's not it i'm in the african-american museum I yes he is it. twice okay, okay. <laughs> i know that picture of donna says 1977 <laughs> but it's gazelle it, started in 1972 mm -hmm. on my own company that's right and uh well that's when i felt i could 77, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was doing less concert mm -hmm. dance and then it had to be seen. Alvin came to me, yes, mm -hmm. and he wanted to do it. And Donna is truly, was too truly lovely oh, in, that, in that part. And we can't get uh, let um, Linda, um, Linda, what, what is her last name? In the company now? Yes. Cassares? Cassares? Sims? Sims. Sims. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Linda, and, uh, mm -hmm. who's very, Dynamic. Oh yeah, and beautiful. She's beautiful. Yeah, they. You know, they stretched it. We stretched it. Mm -hmm. I did change a, a few pieces, mm -hmm. cut it down, so it's mm -hmm. you know, forty-five minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a good act, <laughs> right? Right. Right. So what else can we leave, leave the children with? Uh, that, that that's that's what you you know you, it, we've got to get through this. Yes. Hopefully, you got a boat. You got yes. You're, because it's. It counts, it counts, yes. it counts, it counts. Mm -hmm. It's gonna count now because that's your future. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you gotta get some people that are, are um, sympathetic mm -hmm. to your cause mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and want to see all of the wonderful things that can happen. Look at me, you know, yeah. at 75 you could end up like, like this, satisfied. Yes. I've met an enormous amount of, of people not quite satisfied. I didn't say that. You said that one right. thing to do? Yeah, I have other dreams. That's too. Right. Hey, excuse me, I take that back. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> right. Yes. Okay. So, so, right. Living things are going All right. on. All right. Think a lot of things yes. going on. And it's a lot of help you can give a lot of people. And a book. I'm going to tell you about writing your book. Right. Orange. I'm going to use this as a template. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's, you know, help me remember days. Yeah. It'll yeah. be the beginning of all of that. Well, so before I run out of space on that, I hope not. I'm sure we got it all, but. Right. This is great. We could do a part two. I mean, if there's more, you know, I think it's something else you want to share. We can right. Give me in sections. Right. Think about we haven't that. talked about a lot of people. <laughs> Maybe that's a good thing. Because, <laughs> you know. No, that's what sells. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 
ticket sales, yes. book sales, yes. all of that. Now, once we come back to the the yeah, dancers should think about that. Yeah. Part of your revenue yeah. is coming from that audience oh, being yeah. out there and for the audience to return. Well, you got to say something for the book. So, okay. and the book is coming. So, this is just a teaser for the book and the movie. Oh, yeah. Your movie, that. right? Aren't you treating a documentary? Am I going to let the cat out the bag? Didn't you say someone was coming here to film me for a documentary or talking about it? Yeah, they talked about it. Well, I've done a couple. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That well, that has sparked some sort yeah. of interest. Right. Yeah, kind of. And do you, you have your website still happening? Can yeah, I just got phone. hacked on Instagram. So. Oh no. Yes. <laughs> so anything that you see, it's a lie. Okay. Well, in any case, <laughs> you know, do your homework. Oh, you I may come by. I could come by for a few. few uh, what is that? Master classes? Not Zoom, mm -hmm. but live. Yeah. Okay. Keep my name, number. That's right. And don't be afraid. <laughs> Call me. Don't be afraid. <laughs> well, George. Yes. Thank you for this allowing is, me in. And to what your an world. anniversary. Yes. The Wiz. Yes. Were, look, 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 look. Let's just break it down real quick before we go. The Wiz Summer Stage was not ready for the Wiz. So let me just tell you first of all, not only in Central Park, but we did two nights, as we said, in Harlem. Now, the amphitheater at Marcus Garvey Park safely holds about 1,800 people when it's packed. The first time we moved in there, that Thursday night, I think we had about 7,000 people. I don't know where them children all went, but they were hanging off the trees. Where they came from. Where 7, they came 000. from. The second night, that was now Friday, there were even more people. And it was just, yes, it was scary. It might have been a little bit dangerous. Yes, it was. But they were we everywhere. And they were, they were wonderful. Yes. They were wonderful. Well, I guess the Wiz were was uh, was made for you first. Yes. You know what I mean? Because we needed something like that. Right. And that was the first time. And I'll never forget Jeffrey saying, you know, glitter, more glitter. Yeah. More glitter. There wasn't <laughs> enough glitter that you could put yes. on, on a person. Yes. And God rest his soul, he yes. did a magnificent job as mm -hmm. well. We thank God for him yes. and his, his amazing work. Yes. And, um, and the amazing cast that we had. Mm -hmm. All you can of YouTube them. YouTube it. You can, it's, there are so many fan videos all over YouTube, and hopefully we'll post some stuff too. But well, thank really? God for you, George. Yeah, thank, you. thank, thank God you. for you. So this has been Danny G and George Faison in the Faison Firehouse to be continued. We're gonna need a part two. Yeah, gonna need one. We're gonna need a part two. <laughs> or, or you can have some of the dancers. Oh right, that's what we'll do. Yeah, yeah, we'll have some of the dancers. We'll be in full screen. Yes. And we can put them all around us. <laughs> right. Right. We're yeah. so glad that we could come to you yeah. full screen. Mm -hmm. Right. We'll, oh, you know what? I, a, a dancer told me this that uh, Listerine, Gargoyle, mm -hmm. Shadrach told me this mm -hmm. to Gargoyle, the has Listerine. some effect, has some effect on the virus. Oh. No, and I and I took him all, up on that all of these months. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you're yes. looking good. Thank you. Yeah, and we're going to stay that way. All right. Right. <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> right. And scene.